What up everybody, it's Mateo from Alchemist Ventures. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to be covering something that went down in the music business world this week. And that is the fact that Spotify acquired a minority stake in DistroKid, the digital distributor. Now this is very big news, specifically if you're independent artist, and if you haven't used the distributor yet, it might make you want to use DistroKid a little bit more if you were searching around the market for a digital distributor. So quick disclaimer, DistroKid is one of the two distributors that we've used to distribute our music. We've been using DistroKid for about two years now. We have a video already on this channel comparing DistroKid to TuneCore and CD Baby. If you want to see that breakdown, just go click the link in our description to check out that video or click the white card right above me right now. Now, this is very big news because DistroKid has been one of the major digital distributors for a few years now. And the fact that Spotify acquired a minority stake can mean positive and negative things for independent artists. But from their statement that they gave to Digital Music News regarding their investment in DistroKid, it might be a more positive outcome than it might be perceived as. So Spotify told Digital Music News that independent artists that use DistroKid to distribute their music will now get preferential Spotify for artists access and they'll still be able to use DistroKid to distribute to other streaming services. So Spotify essentially is allowing independent artists to distribute with some preferential access on Spotify and they're still gonna let them distribute to Apple Music, to Deezer, to Tidal, to all their competitors which kind of makes it really worthwhile if you really think about it. For a year now, I think DistroKid has had the preferential access, just the world hasn't really known. If you had a DistroKid account, you automatically had a Spotify for Artists account and you automatically got verified. Now that this is kind of like public news and they have a stake in DistroKid, it just makes DistroKid more of a legit distributor and probably more solid business-wise. Sometimes it's really risky to distribute your music with a certain distributor because you don't know what will happen to the distributor in the future. Like, will they run out of money if they have um, angel investors? Will they stop going through and making business? And now that Spotify acquired a stake, I think we can definitely foresee that DistroKid would be here for a while and that they're gonna be a major competitor in the distribution landscape. So I think it just makes sense now for artists to definitely consider DistroKid when they're gonna distribute the music if they haven't already. So just picture this, you're gonna get free direct uploads on Spotify, you're gonna have complete control over your music and your royalties, and easy to handle distribution to other rival streaming music services, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Visa, Tidal, et cetera, through DistroKid. So it's definitely some big news, and if you haven't used DistroKid before, and you've been looking on the landscape which one you're gonna use, consider it now. I think it's definitely, you know, probably the best one out there right now. We, like I said, it's one of the two we use, so I think it's definitely worth the money. And it's super cheap, especially if you look at their services. And again, I've already made a video reviewing and breaking down DistroKid to other distributors, so check that video out if you want more information on the services and features they offer. So just a quick music business topic that I wanted to cover on this channel. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you using DistroKid? Do you plan on using DistroKid? Which digital distributor do you use? And what do you think this might mean in the future? Like will Spotify completely acquire DistroKid? Will independent distributors kind of phase out? Like will that be something that's not here in the future because Apple Music and Spotify and Tidal might start buying up these digital distributors. It's something to consider, especially as an independent artist. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave us any questions in the comment section below. Um, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.